special guest who, who you would all know as Via. Hello, everybody. Hello. So... Hi, thank you for inviting me to be on your channel once again. You are very welcome. Thanks for being here. So... Yeah, says, yeah, now we can hear you, but it sounds different than usual for some reason. Probably because I have my headphones in. But 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 does it sound clear though? <laughs> Yak says yay via. Yes. Okay. So Alright, now that you guys are all here, I assume. Um Yeah, it's clear. Excellent. Okay. Now that you guys are all here, um here is the difficult right so I I you know look I've been working all day you know to you know on my uh, on my on, 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 on my show hey hey uh, Jaden makes cartoons hey um, yeah I've been working all day on work stuff and now I decided to come home and work on some more work stuff because I am in need of a paper computer game to bring with me to work, so um, I decided to make it here so that then it can be the first official work PCG. Um, I can't. I. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to th uh, thread a, 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 a very delicate line here because I am not allowed to discuss my workplace in YouTube, so I will not mention the place where I work. Um, <laughs> Yax has a work PCG. Heck yeah, work PCG. And if this one goes well, I'm gonna make so many more work PCGs you don't even understand. <laughs> my work, my, like, my, 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 my job is gonna legit become, like... A lot of PCG making and playing. V, are you still there? I am here. And um, I just have a few things to say. Number one, war, 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 da 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 da, war, 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 war. And the second one is uh, um, your work. It's going to be called PCG Central for yes. part of the summer. Isn't it amazing? Oh my goodness. Yes. If by PCG Central you mean there's going to be one PCG played in it. But, okay. Um, yeah, so, here's the deal, right? We need to... I, I need to make this paper computer game. I have not started, and it needs to be ready by next week. So, I thought I would... Uh, that you guys could help me out with this. Um, let me... Uh, oh, that's a... Wait, that's not a spoiler. What am I talking about? You guys have already seen that. Oh, those aren't spoilers either. Okay. So, um, what am I doing? That looks like a spoiler. What looks like a spoiler? The 
previous page you had. Never mind. Oh, yeah, well, it, it, it wasn't. Not for anything I'm working on. Oh my god, PCG making Tuesdays. That's true, Daniel. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so here is my outline for my um, thing. I don't think there's... Uh, let me see. Um, I believe it's in day three that I am supposed to... Yeah, here we go. Paper computer game. So this is what I have so far on this paper computer game, okay? So th this is what we have to flesh out and like rethink okay so you guys with me so far we're gonna have to make a, a, a this pcg nice wallpaper thank you it's wednesday for me yeah it's uh still tuesday for the next hour or so for me but okay so here's the game right so you play as a character right they have a few different uh, telescopes available. Each telescope has a limited amount of time. There are multiple systems you have to choose from based on the characteristics of each. You have to guess which one's most likely to have a planet. I think I might have to change this because this doesn't make sense. The idea of this, okay, this is the idea of this game. Discover the exoplanets. That's the idea of this paper computer game. So basically you're a character mm -hmm. and you have a telescope, or not a telescope, there's multiple telescopes and you have to somehow use them to um to find planets exoplanets for those not in the know nice. an exoplanet is nice. an extra solar planet a planet outside of our solar system a planet going around another star besides our sun wait savage mandrel lives in the future wait so all asians live in the future wait do they oh asians <laughs> yeah because no because like oh oh no oh, all people, people in asia from, from australia people from australia too because mm -hmm. you know it's it's the next day already so they do live in the future yeah that's true mm -hmm. freaking freaking hyper advanced future people living in the future <laughs> anyway um so let's see you have to successfully you, you win if you successfully find all the planets available i'm thinking there will be maybe three i want to keep this fairly simple like you know maybe like um you, you know because like it says this is this has to be 45 minutes to play it and the whole class is gonna play it, so everyone's ideas, so I imagine they should be able to beat it reasonably quickly, but that just means I can't make it too long. I also can't make it too short or too easy. Well, we have to give them some challenge. That's, that's, that's a given. Yeah. Because if you don't do that, then somebody's gonna beat it like super fast, and then, you know, it won't be 45 minutes. What will you do with the rest yeah. of the minutes? Yeah, that is a problem. I don't, um, well, either way, let's, let's, let's not, that's just, <laughs> that's, uh, um, yeah, that's, uh, let, let, let's, let's figure out how to make this game. Anyway, it says, when you find a planet, you'll learn about its inhabitants, so I'll, like, one of the planets can have the Tryptosians on it. Another can be the inhabitants of PSOJ 318.5-22. So, yeah. Um... Can we, can we include Pogencio in this PCG? Um, we could, but I'm not trying, I'm trying not to, like, just include lots of random characters, like in random callouts to other PCGs. Like I, I like just because I want this one to be like really focused. But if there's a but if there's like a natural place that he would fit in naturally, then we could totally include him. I mean he he can probably like fit mostly on anywhere in the space because he is a space traveler, so This is true. He is a space traveler. Um But I mean 
suggestion. Don't worry, it's an open suggestion. Yeah, um, yeah, let me know no if you have pressure. an idea. What? Yeah, I mean, just let me know if you have an idea for, like, how to, like, what role he would have, like, as we make it. Um, I mean, like, okay, you know, okay. yeah, like I said, I have no objection to him being in there. It's just a matter of, I want to keep the game as a whole very focused and with a lot, and not with, like, Let's claim more says fun I under, fact. Is, I understand. Yeah. I understand. Yes. Thank you. Um, Bats Claymore says, fun fact, Australia is a continent, not a country. It's both, though. Yeah. Exactly, it's both. Yeah. And I said people from Australia, and that means either both the country or the continent. So I'm not wrong, once again. Ha ha. Mm -hmm. Okay, so wait, what's this? Oh. Ah! Wait, is that spoilers? Oh, that's for my Dark Matter show that I did. Oh, well, that's done. Okay, so let's get rid of that, and let's start a new document. <laughs> okay, let's let's PCG brainstorm, all right? So, let's see, number one, um, and chat, um, chat, you guys gotta help me brainstorm with this, all right? I need, I need, I need your, I need your ideas. Also, I'm getting peace at this time. I just hope you guys are aware of that. But, yeah, I need your ideas, because, like, because, like, this is, this is, I gotta help you get this out. Okay, so, let's see. Number one. We. I'm sorry? Nothing. I was just gonna say that we all love sounds, mouth sounds, like... I apologize, but uh, I am, you know, hungry. <sighs> okay, so let's do this. Um, and I'm staring at a blank page. Okay. Well, okay, so the challenge is to find exoplanets, right? HMB Tiger Games says, alright, so how about your astronaut and your spaceship breaks? Yeah, but like, the goal has to be using telescopes. It has to be like, you're in a place with like, maybe three different observatories, and... Because like, forced to land on a random planet... I don't know about that. It's ruled by creatures. Yeah, it can't like it can't be too much of a conventional adventure. It's got to be focused on using telescopes. So, what kind of telescopes are we um, going to be introducing here, Zach? Like, um, do we have like long range telescopes, like the ones that you have at work, or do we have like um, a kid that has a telescope at home? Or do we have something like with access to Hubble or James Webb? Um, like having access to Hubble or James Webb would be fine. Um, okay. Maybe like... I don't know, like... Um... Or maybe you have to choose between three different, like, kinds of telescopes, or you can use one of them at a time. I dig this idea. Okay, so let's see, you've got your... One of them has to be, like, a radio telescope, one of them is... Wait, but how does that help you find exoplanets? Dang it. Trying to make this this match real science is a problem. Um, yeah. Well. Yeah. The, the the best one definitely has to have infrared. Mm. That we do that we do know. Do we know um, that? Why do you say that? Yeah. Well, you know, because lately with the discoveries that we have been finding on space, it has helped a lot to to find things with infrared. James Webb? 
clarinetito. And that means, of course. Yeah, because as I mean, for the time issue that Via was talking about, you could just do the time limit thing where they only have a certain amount of time to find the planet. Interesting. Mm. That's possible. Oh my god. Yeah, that's great. Because, like, let's say that they only have, like, 15 minutes or less. Well, they do have a natural time limit anyway, because they do only have 45 minutes to do this. After that, they yeah, have... Yeah, but like... Yeah, but like that that will be like the whole gameplay, right? Yeah. So you have to give them limited time for them to to so that way like um if you have like groups or you know like which I think will be easier to do in groups. Um they all can like deliver it, like think, you know, brainstorm by by, by themselves in each group and they only have like a little like let's say five minutes or so to think about that. No, but Nah, I, like, I don't, I don't really want to break them up into groups just because, like, then, you know, like, that, that, like, breaks the focus away from, like, playing the PCG and everyone being involved, mm -hmm. and it's more just, like, you know, people sort of privately doing their own thing. I want to have, like, a, like, a, you know... It, like something that everyone feels included in but not pressured to be in and that everyone can like sort of jump in and out of and participate in you know kind of like you know kind of like what I do with some of these like live streams you know uh huh um see I'm, I'm sorry I'm, just, I'm like I'm like shooting down everybody's ideas I just I just like you know I have, I have, I have very particular camp needs. Daniel the Jack said something pretty cool. Like he said, I mean, you could have the different types of telescope reveal different pieces of information that you can put together to find out where the planets are. That is a really good idea. I like that a lot. But what could the different pieces of information be? Um... And Savage Mandrill said one of the telescope types can be a Dobsonian. They look more futuristic. It's a Dobsonian. Let's Google it. Dobsonian telescope is an alt azimuth mounted Newtonian telescope design popularized by John Dobson in 1965 and vast, credited with vastly increasing the size of telescopes available to amateur astronomers. You do have these um, type of telescopes at work in a smaller scale. Um. Oh. I know because I have used them. Excellent. I've probably used them as well then. I just do not remember. <laughs> I'm the worst, uh, I'm the worst, like, uh, space-related, like, ed person, educator, whatever, ever. But And then, like, uh, the astronomy group that's sometimes busy, they bring them, they bring the, the bigger ones. Oh, cool. Um, HMB says, I'm confused, is the player going to look through a telescope the whole game? That's, uh, that's a good, uh, question. I was thinking, like, I was thinking, like, maybe you would have, like, three buildings, and you can, you have a character, and you can, like, walk into the three buildings. There might be little puzzles to get into the buildings, like, maybe the door is locked, and you have to solve puzzles to get inside. Maybe there's, like one or two enemies though that's not the focus but then the ultimate challenge is you have to do something with the three telescopes and i think i do like yak's idea of having the different type of telescopes reveal different pieces of information yeah me too that you can put together okay so let's let's write that down me too, that's cool. yeah that was a really good idea thank you Dan the jack 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 jack, jack.
Okay, so what are the t the kinds of information? Wait, yeah, says, and you could have like a main map page where all the info you find out over the course of the game slowly adds up until the planets become more and more obvious. Fascinating. Mmm, I like, and that could manifest itself as a bunch of bullet point notes or like a map that you add drawn elements to until you see the planets fully drawn once they put together all the info. This is good, Yak. Yeah. <laughs> you're, uh, you're, you're coming up with some good stuff. Okay, like, um, I write that as well. Why is my background black? What is, what is, what is going on? What is going on? Ah! Okay, well, um, uh, Sorry, sorry, have to figure out what is going on with the, uh... No shadow, but there's still... Um, so I should start drawing a... One of the, um, the Solian telescopes. Um... Not yet, we still have to figure out what we're gonna do this stuff with. <laughs> I mean, you can, you, can, you can definitely draw it if you want, but I mean, like, I can't guarantee when, where or how or if we'll include it in the game if we, you know, since nothing is finalized yet about what, the design. Sad face. Cry, cry. I'm sorry. Okay. So, um, let's see. The different types of telescopes reveal different pieces of information map page where info about the planets builds up over time then we have um um okay i'm gonna try and like copy and paste the like paste this to like a new file because like maybe then it won't have this weird formatting there we go. Much better. Okay, so, um... Let's see, what kinds of info would you build up about an exoplanet? Right now, there's only, like, a few ways to find out about exoplanets. One is measuring the wobble of, of a star. So, I think that's one piece of information. Yeah, add it. Wobble of a star. Because if a, like, yeah, if you see a star wobbling, that could, that means probably something is orbiting it, right? Because, like, if something orbits the star, the star is actually also sort of orbits. It also is pulled on by the thing's gravity. Little known fact, as the Earth orbits the Sun, the Earth actually pulls on the Sun a little bit, and the Sun will wobble a slight amount, it, like, because of the Earth pulling on it. But it also wobbles because of all the other planets pulling on it, and all that, you know, in all different directions, and that kind of adds up to, you know, nothing happening. And even if the other planets weren't there, it would still be too tiny to, like, make a big difference. But still. Um, anyway. Um. Mevo Vivo says wobble wobble. Yeah, I was, I was thinking that, but I'm like, I'm not going to say it, but I'm happy that he, I mean, that we will be okay. Um, is this wobbling different from the the shadow or the drop of light that we yes. get from the star? Yeah, is yeah, okay? that's the, that's the other method, is the transit method. If mm -hmm. you see, um... If you see a, like, a, if a planet is orbiting around a star, sometimes it'll pass in front of that star. Um, and, and when that happens, the, the, like for a second, when the star is passing in front of the star, it blocks some of that star's light. So you get less light. There's a dip in, the, in how much light is coming from it. So yeah, that's what you're talking about. So, so that could be, it. May, like maybe you have to, detect it in all three ways okay you have to you have to find the wobble of the star 
then you have to find, like, it's like, okay, there's a wobble, so there's something there. Then you have mm -hmm, to, mm -hmm. um, then you have to find the dip in light, like, as the light just turned off. Why did the light just turn off? Hold on. Hey, Sketchy Penguin, how's it going? I'll, I'll, uh, give me one second. Let me try and, like, uh, fix the light. Ooh, haunted house. Ooh. Welcome to the haunting of Sack. Now live streaming on the PCG channel. Okay, we back. <laughs> This plug is just super loose. I don't know what's going on. Oh, the haunting was a lie. Yes. Um, they like. Sorry. I mean, I guess it's possible a ghost keeps pulling the plug out, but if so, that would be very surprising and also very annoying. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, so we have to find the wobble of the star, we, and, and then we have to find the dip in it in the star's light. Because that would give us more information. If you also saw the dip of in the star's light, then you would have a pretty good idea of what, um, what the, you know, like how big the planet is. Yep. And... The, oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Spectroscopy. The final telescope has to be a, a, a spectroscope. You, can you explain that to us? What does a spectroscopy... I mean... I mean, I, I, am, I, I guess, I kind of if you want, yeah. I can explain it. Yes, please. <laughs> um... Yeah, spectro spectroscopy is where you like look at the light coming from something, and me and based on the spectrum of light, you can figure out what elements are in that thing. For example, um, if you look at the sun's light with spectroscopy, you can see you know all the different kinds of light it's producing, but because the sun has, for example, hydrogen in its atmosphere, hydrogen uh, blocks some of the light, like, oh, but only one specific wavelength. So because there's hydrogen, it blocks out one wavelength so that then when you look at the light from the sun on a spectrum, uh, hold, 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 hold on a second. I'm in a live stream right now. Sorry. Um, yeah, so because the, because the sun, um, uh, yeah, um, where, where was I? Yeah, it says, and then there could be another section where you have to identify the type of exoplanet that is, and once that happened, the drawn planet is fully formed. Mmm, yes. Yeah, okay, so... What's a type of exoplanet? I mean, it could be like, it could be a gas giant. Oh, this is a good idea. Okay. Um, wait, V, are you still there? I am. Okay, sorry. You've just been quiet for a while. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I know. I, still, I, I mean, I wanted to hear what you were going to say. And, oh, okay, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, I wasn't explaining that good, but basically... Spectroscopy is, you can look at a planet and you can tell what's in its atmosphere with spectroscopy. Spectroscopy lets you look at the light that goes through that planet's atmosphere and by analyzing that light, you can figure out what gases are in that planet's atmosphere. And that would be a way, in fact, that would actually be a real way that you would be able to find life on another Planet. Like the James Webb Space Telescope, which just released pictures today, by the way, which everyone should check out, um, has a real chance of finding life on another planet because it could do spectroscopy. 
Um, and because it's so powerful. Um, so, is, is that making sense? It does. To me, it does. Okay, excellent. So, alright, I'm thinking, like... Alright, let's look at, um, planet types. Because, um, okay, like, here's what I'm th thinking, right? Mm -hmm. Number one, um, you can have a big or a small planet. Big indicate... Big is like a gas giant, probably. But small is like... Small is like a, um... A rocky planet like Earth. So that's one category, right? So, but besides big, so big or small, you could learn from the dip in the star's light. So you could learn whether it's big or small. Then, by, um, what else? By, um, By measuring the wobble of the star, you could measure if there's a planet there at all. Okay, and then the third piece of... So, first you want to measure whether the planet's there at all. Second, you want to measure how big it is. And third, you want to measure um, spectroscopy. So that's like what, it, what kind of an atmosphere it is. Does it, does it have, does it have a, you know, um, you know, like a Earth-like atmosphere, or does it have, you know, a, a, I don't know, thick Venus-like atmosphere? Well, let's see, okay, atmosphere type. Let's say there's three types of atmospheres. You've got your Earth-like atmospheres, you've got your Venus-like atmospheres, and you've got your... Because, like, Venus's atmosphere is super thick, it's like 90% carbon dioxide, it's like 800 degrees on the surface all the time, not very hospitable. So if you find a rocky planet, but its atmosphere is like that, you're probably not going to find life there. And another option would be, like, I don't know, something like... I guess Mars-like, because Mars just has a very thin atmosphere, although that one just also has a lot of carbon dioxide, it's just well, not much of it. How is the atmosphere in, on Mercury? The atmosphere on Mercury is just like so thin, it's basically not there at all. <laughs> like, I think it's hmm. it has a lot of sodium in it, I, I think, I feel like that's like a major, one of the major, major components. Let's find out. Mercury planet. Um, come on, where's atmosphere? Volume by comp. Okay, oh, atmosphere. Volume by composition. Atomic oxygen, sodium, I was right about the sodium, magnesium, atomic hydrogen, potassium, calcium, helium, trace amounts of other things. But the surface pressure is like very little, it's trace amounts less than or about equal to 0.5 nanopascals, that's like a billionth of a pascal. I don't know how much a, how much a pascal is, but uh, I think it's fair to say it's pretty low. Anyway, um... Does that answer your question, Fia? Uh, yes. But now I have other questions, like, how much is a Pascal? 
<laughs> huh. Well, let's compare that to the Earth. Earth, um... Earth is 101,000 pascals. At, mm. So, whereas... Whereas Mercury is... Less than 0 0.5 nanopascals. Nano is like a billionth of, of a pascal. So, like... Yeah, like... I, like, that's like what? One... It's... So, I guess... Mercury's atmosphere is like one one hundred billionth of the pressure of Earth's atmosphere. So, so it's like it's 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 like nothing. Its atmosphere doesn't even matter. It's very tiny. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. yeah. Um. Anyway, Yak is saying stuff in chat. Let's see. Um. Essentially. Then there could be another section where you have to identify the type of exoplanet that... Okay, we well said that already. Um, so essentially, what I was thinking is that there is a map of the solar system, and as you find out more information, the edges of the map become clearer. Like, at first, there would be patches of light that tell you possible locations, and then there would be some way to visualize the wobble. builds upon itself like that, with different types of information having some piece of visual counterpart that it corresponds to and adds to the map. I'm not sure if I 100% understand what you're saying. So, like, okay, if you have a star system, right, there's, so there's, you're saying there's a map of it, and as you find out more information, the edges of the map become clearer? Like, there's, there's patches of light that tell you possible locations, and then there'd be some way to visualize the wobble. Like, I like the idea, but I'm not sure... I don't know, I don't know. I feel like it could be getting a bit... too complicated. <laughs> like, I think it's, like, like, I like the concept of having, um... of, like, the whole fog of war thing. Like, as you learn more about it, more parts of the map are revealed. That's cool. But, like... But, like, trying to incorporate that and, like, the stars wobble. But also, like, I don't know how to make, like, Fog of War in a system where there's, like, only one planet, you know? Or I guess it's like you're saying there'd be, like, places where it could possibly be? I don't know. Yak says it's kind of hard to explain what I mean. Yeah, fair enough. Um, okay, so... It's not that complicated, it's just a hard point to get across. Oh, okay. Sorry if I'm misunderstanding it. Cause like I was I was, like I was imagining there'd be a map page of different star systems, like a bunch of different star systems, and you would like get to pick one to target and then you could um yeah you could you could like aim one of your telescopes at it maybe like i don't know if we should do like some sort of a currency system like you know you won't oh. or like you can only use this telescope 10 times so make sure it's there. Mercado. Yeah. i'm thinking mercado <laughs> yeah, but there's no way I can put more Mercado in here. I know. Um, how, how, how was your idea about the currency system? Like, you can only use it for a certain amount of minutes and you feel like two buttons up? Yeah, or like, um, or like times, you know, like maybe you can only, like, for example, like maybe you could only use, like, the spectroscopy telescope five times so like that'll force them to like you know pick really pick and choose i don't know mm. or maybe not you know like they only like maybe i don't even have to worry about that since they only have 45 minutes to play this game so maybe i just like 
have to let them, like, do it, you know, and, and like, just have total free reign, experiment, and see where it takes you within the 45 minutes, you know? Okay, so, um, let's see, um, I think this is good. I think, like, Mebo Fable says, I know a key item you should add. The key item is the stepladder, and you can use it to get a little bit closer to see. <laughs> uh, I like that. <laughs> I'm definitely writing in a, uh, step ladder. Can I draw the step ladder? Go for it. Yay. Yak says, yeah, I was, yeah, basically I was thinking that there were multiple possible locations and each telescope gives you different pieces of info. And as you look through each one, the info narrows down the actual location. When you say locations, what do you mean? Like different star systems or different locations within a star system? Actual says, my PCG called Void is where you wake up eons after the life went extinct. You travel through having to go through puzzles to get six life cards from skeletons belonging to PCG characters who died. That's awesome. Um. Okay, so, um. I feel like we're, I feel like we're getting there. Um. We are, we are. There's gonna be a lot of pro I feel like I'm not doing anything. And <laughs> <laughs> But I am. I'm, I am. I, yeah. I think. Yeah. I think. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, because it's different locations within the star system and there's like a certain number of exoplanets that they can find in that system. Interesting. That might make it like That might make it more complicated, though, because can I find more than one wobble? Like, yeah, I like. I yeah, like I don't know, I don't know, like if having like having multiple planets in a star system. I could see that that might make this whole thing, like, because, like, yeah, if you look for a wobble, I, or I guess you could just play it that, like, if there's a wobble, that just means there's at least one planet in the system. But, okay, then how do you find out? No. Like, uh, what, what about if there's, like, an asteroid or something else? Like, is there anything else that can make a star wobble? Um, anything that goes around it. Mm hmm So what if there is, like, a, something that is not a planet that is orbiting a star? I mean, it would have to be big, like a planet, in order to, to make a noticeable wobble. Mm-hmm. So, like, I it mean... Yeah, I mean, if you if you had like a giant space station with as much mass of a planet that was orbiting the star, then that would that would definitely cause a wobble just the same. But I mean, um, yeah, Charles says, should you put Cthulhu in your space PCG? You know who that is. I do know who that is. Um. But, uh, <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You never know, maybe. Yak says, I mean, I guess you could do it in a way where you split the map into sections and you pinpoint a certain section where there's only one planet so that it isn't too complicated. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, like, I was thinking, like, it could be based on, like, stars. Like, the map would just be, like, star, 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 and then... And then each star, you have to look at it with a telescope to see if there's a planet around it. So, like, the first telescope is the one that can detect wh whether the star is wobbling. And that one, um, 
like that's the one you have to like look at a star first to see if it if it wobbles. Yeah, it says in the, you only know where the actual planet is because all the info lines up to on one spot. Interesting. It doesn't really make sense with the other like you know the dip in the star's light and the spectroscopy stuff though. He doesn't. Well, I mean, because spectroscopy doesn't do anything to help you find the location of a planet. Um, mm -hmm. it's, all it does is help you find out, like, what its atmosphere is like. Man, this is, this is, uh... This is complicated now. It, it just became slightly complicated. Um, good news, everyone. I have drawn a most of um, the telescope. Yay! It's time to color it. Chat, give me colors. Light blue or dark blue? Light blue. In, in, um, you know, with respect to Iliak Nangalan. Mibo Fibo says maybe one has a volcano that shakes around and makes wobble but the volcano is actually home of aliens named flappies and they're really cute but they're dangerous and mean yeah we should we should like um figure out okay like how many stars are there in this i'm thinking there should be like maybe 20 stars Yeah, let's say 20 stars that they can check, of which, let's say, five of them have life. So the goal is to find the five systems that do have life, right? Yeah. Okay, so what are what are these five planets going to be? Uh, we I've already decided on two of them. That was in the thing. One of them is going to be Shirek with the nice. Chertosians, and one is going to be PSOJ three eighteen point five dash twenty two, which works because it's an actual planet. But there's three more slots. So let's see. Um, we've got Shirek. And we've got we'll, PS. Will people that that will be playing the PCG ask about what Shirek is? Do you have an explanation for yeah, that? Or you're just gonna be like, oh, um, it's just you know, random planet like me. I, I yeah, really yeah. Like, like my idea was that um, um, yeah. Sorry, my idea was that. Um, it would sort of as a reward for discovering the planet, you would find out what kind of life lives there. Like once you find all the pieces of information about the planet, then it would be like, um, you're right. There is life here. It turns out this is the home. This is planet Shirek, home to the Triptosian people. They're an underwater squid race. And I would, you know, show a picture of them. Yay. Yeah. Which actually, I think it like that's a that's a very like via PCG kind of kind of style thing. <laughs> is it though? I feel like it is because like is it was it wasn't that you know with squirrels the PCG and cows the PCG that was like the whole thing right? Like you had to like solve like 
I don't know, like sometimes you get quizzed and then if yeah. you get an answer right, then yeah. like you'll open a flap and it's like, oh, now you find out the, 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 the information, you know? <laughs> That's so true. Yeah. <laughs> Except I've kind of reversed it. Like they, in mine, they have to get past the inf the uh, educational content in order to find out about the PCG universe <laughs> content, which is like <laughs> the opposite of yours. I mean, yeah. Um, what else can we write? Uh, yeah. It works either way. Okay, so... Mebo Fibo had suggested it, it like... A planet... Planet with a volcano that's home to aliens named Flappies. Oh, uh, by the way, Zach, you know, you can take advantage of this and, and, you know, since some of the planets are not going to be real planets, add some Star Wars um, and some Star Trek lore to this. I mean, I could do that. Mm hmm But... <laughs> but you're not going to do it. I don't know. Maybe I should. Let's um you know what? Let's let's put it to a vote. Let's let's have chat vote on that. Should um Yeah, let's ask chat a question. Um should we should I include Star Trek slash Star Wars? planets or just PCG planets. Por qué no los dos? Let's ask our community. Because, you see, I was thinking, since this is going to be the first time they're going to play a PCG, um, it's easier to, to, to keep part of their attention when, so, with something that they might relate to. And I mean, Star Wars is very big. Like, there's, I don't think there's anybody in the planet that, know, that doesn't know about Star Wars. Um, yeah, and Star Trek, you know, because that way we can get some new trekkings. <laughs> mm, I doubt we're going to get any new trekkies that way. Oh. I mean... P -p Prodigy. Yeah, but I mean, like, if, uh, if... You know, if, you know, imagine you're playing a PCG and it's like, okay, I'll land on that planet. It's like, okay, this is, this is the planet, you know, like this is the planet Rigel 6 from an episode of Star Trek. <laughs> and they're like, okay, good to know, you know. If you haven't already seen Star Trek, I don't think you care, you know. Yeah. Don't think that the, the, these, these people to Rigel, I don't think that's a good idea anyway. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's, uh, we have seven votes. I think that's everyone. So let's, uh, let's end. I didn't vote. Oh, you didn't vote? Yeah, should I vote? Yeah, sure, go for it. Okay, hold on, let me vote. <laughs> My thing is um, oh, How do we have nine votes already? 
There's only four people watching this stream. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the hacker? <laughs> Both. Yak says that would totally happen in a PCG, though. <laughs> there would definitely be Star Trek planets. True. Hatchel says Star Wars is better, in my opinion. That that is only because you never seen a Star Trek. That's not necessarily true. Some... I like to think so. Mm -hmm. Add Tatooine from Star Wars. All right, let's uh, let's end the poll. Let's. Or, we have eleven votes. How is this possible? All right. All right. We have happened? twelve votes. What the heck? All right. All right. I'm I'm ending it. All right. And the final vote with 13 votes is PCG only, please. Ooh. Did like. It was very close. 53% for PCG only and 46% for include Star Wars and Star Trek. Actual says, Zach, mm. did you vote too? No, I did not. I did not vote. Why didn't you? You should have. <laughs> I want to see what everyone else had to say. Besides, like, I would have voted for PCG only anyway. <laughs> of course you would. Yeah, so. I think someone voted from their alt accounts. Mmm, yeah, that must be it. No, but they would have to, like, be signing out and signing in. Like constantly, how like how many alt accounts can someone no, possibly have? No, not if they no because you know we all have like um, cell phones, tablets, and computers, so we can you know do it that way. Uh, Mibo Fibo said I did vote for my alt account. Oh man, uh, widespread voter fraud. You know the vote is illegitimate. You know we have to we have to. Overturn the election now. Mm hmm. Sketchy Penguin says it's actually really easy to switch to alt accounts. That exactly. is. I mean, yeah, I know, but like you have to already have a bunch of alt accounts, though, right? I guess it's not. Well, yes. Like you, ha you have to make them first, and then you can just switch. It's not like they. It's not like they just you know, switch now and didn't had any before. Mibo Fibo says, I only have Mibo Fibo and Mibo Fibo PCG. But I, like. Yeah, so. Alright, that's like maybe one extra vote. Mm. Oh well. That's alright. Either way, um. Yak says anyone can just make a new Gmail. Yeah, but it takes like a minute to make a new Gmail though. Like you you can't like do it ten times in a minute. Sketchy Penguin says I have three alts, but I didn't vote with them. I just got here. All right, fair enough. Um, well, regardless, um, I guess we'll just go with the vote. I mean, what, what else am I gonna do? Hold another vote? I can't stop people from voting well from their alts. So, um, yeah. Or can you? I mean, no, I can't. <laughs> I too have three alts. All right, all right, you know what? Okay, so let's do this thing. The, the will of the people and the alt accounts is that, um, Sketchy Penguin says I demand a recount. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I would if I had any way to 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 recount. <laughs> you know, if there if there was if there, if it was physically possible to recount, I would. I mean, I could scroll back up and look at the you know number of votes again. You know, see like, see look, thirteen votes, fifty three percent says PCG only, please. You know, there, there's there's the recount. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'll stop. 
So, alright, if we're not including any Star Wars planets, I need like two more PCG planets. Chat, give me two like planets from the PCG universe that I should include. Like, um, that, like, you should think of planets that have like cool looking aliens on them. You know, like Shirek has the Tryptosians. I already have Shirek, PSOJ 318.5 22. And this planet by, um, what was that? Mebo Fibo? Or was it? Ugh, I can't remember who said what anymore. Yak says Earth. Okay, besides Earth, Yak. Besides Earth. Do you say Saturn? Um... I'm gonna say let's not count anything in the solar system, cause like, cause like, you know, you wouldn't have to look for a wobble in the star to find Saturn, you know? Mm, I see, gotcha. Yeah. Erlex is a moon of Mars, but eh, it's kind of boring. Erlex is cool. Um, <laughs> but it is a moon of Mars, dang. Um, I could just include it anyway, but just say it's not in the solar system, <sighs> but that would, that would break canon and therefore break my soul. I don't know. Sketchy Penguin, what do you, what, what do you want me to do? Hack Troll says Cthulhu, but Cthulhu is not a planet. <laughs> right, Via? Is Cthulhu a planet? Uh, yes. Right, yeah, so. <laughs> This is Alex. It's a cool name. Yeah, it is. It is a planet now. Sketchy Penguin says, no, don't bother with Erlex. Okay. No Erlex then, but then what do I include? Dang it. Rename it to Arlex and then add it. But then it wouldn't be Erlex. That would break canon. And that's, no, it wouldn't break canon. It would just, you know, break my soul. Um, oh, Sa Savage Mandrill says Cube on the Neon Planet from Cube's Escape. I missed that. Sweet, let's do it. Cube on the Neon Planet. Okay. That is a planet. We need one more. Um, Hactual says, wait, what about Azahoth? He's alive and I think counts as a planet. Um, who's Azahoth? Is that like a Cthulhu thing? Yeah. Azahoth, sometimes called the Blind Idiot God Nuclear Chaos. <laughs> I don't know if he counts as a planet. You guys. He does not look very much like a... Wait, does he look like a planet? He kind of does. That being said, the chat did vote against, like, adding things from other franchises. It I, We didn't specify that, but we did say Star Wars and Star Trek, and I feel like this would go against the spirit of that vote if I were to include something from Lovecraft. Mmm. Evil Fibo says... Um... Yeah. What does what he say? He says, uh, Mechie thirty six L with uh, with Arthocax aliens. They are very icy, and icicles come out. That's cool. Is that is that a PCG thing, or is that a thing from something? Let's find out.
pack trusses, but most Lovecraft monsters are in the public domain, including Azahoth. That doesn't matter. I mean, no one's going to sue me regardless. I could add Star Trek and Star Wars if I wanted to. It's just that the poll told me not to, so I'm not doing it. <laughs> you know, like... Yeah, I, 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 know, I know Lovecraft is public domain, which is, which is really cool, but, you know, regardless. Is that a BCG thing? You made up Arthocax? Okay, so, alright, yeah, well, that's, I think that's a, that's a BCG thing, right? Or just made up on the spot. Artho That's a rock. Arthro Cac. <laughs> or um what what else was it called? Mecky? With a Q. Why don't you like use the planet of Q? If you're at it. Because first of all, Q is from Star Trek, and second of all, he doesn't come from a planet. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so let's do it. All right, the final planet is Mechie Thirty. Um, E, I, wait, is that E, I, or E, L? It's gotta be E, I, right? Mechie 36, E, I. They are, um, they are very icy and icicles come out. I never so, thought that doing the same ladder will be so difficult. <laughs> what do you have so far? No much, but I had the the um the telescope. Oh sweet. Oh man, I'm getting tired. I'm gonna have to call this a day soon. I thought I was gonna get some drawing done, but um I don't think I'm You have no problem? To get tired. Well, I do also have to be at work at 10 a.m. tomorrow. I don't care. You're not supposed to be tired. I care. Chat doesn't care, right, chat? You guys want more sack? Yay! More sack. More sack. <laughs> Chat's not as evil as you. <laughs> Come on, chat. Back me up. Also, uh, Mibo Fibo, um, Mibo Fibo says I'm gonna upload a video and put a drawing I did of them. Yes, please. Um, and it's EI. Okay, excellent. Um, yeah, yes, please. Um, uh, like, send me that drawing and that video on Discord or wherever, and I, it will be included in the PCG once, 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 once I do it. Um, <laughs> sketchy wing says more Zach. Eat some soup, that'll wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, maybe I underestimated the evil of chat. <laughs> <laughs> you have. <laughs> um. Is there anything else I can do, though? Okay. Let's see. Let's, um, before I go, let's map out the screen since chat did ask for more Zach, evil as that request may be. Um. Yeah, we win. Okay. 
how many how many you know actual screens are there I th let's say screens I mean I feel like just you know get putting aside this whole planet you know mechanic for yak also wants more set. okay okay <laughs> clearly I have vastly overestimated you guys <laughs> But okay. <laughs> More Zach it is. Um, so, um, <laughs> Hactual says, wait, can you use terrorist as a character in there? Because Techno Zombies TNT has terrorist and it takes place up in space. That is awesome, but um, I don't feel like it would super make a ton of sense uh, like in this game, unless it was like an, an, another exoplanet we find. But, but, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, like, I just want to keep this game as simple as possible. Any other PCG, I would totally include it. But for just for this one, I feel like I like, you know, don't want to add too many, too many, too many extraneous, you know, characters and things. Um, yeah, it says. I do this thing where I stay up later thinking that I will be able to get things done, but I end up actually doing nothing, and it's usually just better for me to do it in the morning. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I hear that 100%. I'm, I'm with you. But okay, let's do screens, right? All right, I'm thinking there will be a map screen, or not a map screen, a, um, like, a central hubs screen. This will be like a screen where you where you are on, um, you know, I don't know. You're in a space where you see three buildings, right? There's just buildings all around you, and you can go to any one of them. You're, so it's sort of, sort of like a map screen, but not exactly a map screen. You know, just sort of like a, you know, the place where you start, and you can go in any direction from there. So I'm calling that the central hub screen. Then you have telescope one telescope two. and telescope and each telescope has a puzzle all right let's say each one has a puzzle to get inside of it like inside of the building and then maybe like so, so this one has puzzle, puzzle, and puzzle. Okay. So then, so that's already six screens. This is already getting pretty hefty. Then we need, on top of that, we need the, you know, the screen with the stars on it, like the star map. So that's seven screens. Um, I think maybe one or two of these telescopes could also have a secondary puzzle, like maybe an enemy or something, you know, to, to help. Yeah. So maybe like telescope one can have another puzzle and telescope three can also have another puzzle. Okay. So, and... On top of that, we are going to need... Ooh, let's put in a secret room. A secret room? Yeah. Because I'm, it would be cool I'm if there's... I'm liking these. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking there, there could be a, um, you know, a room that, you know, they're not necessarily supposed to go to, but if they find it, it could be cool. So, um, like, and they'll get a secret. They'll get a, you know, special prize. Um, I don't know what it'll be, but I feel like it's, you know, it's always nice to leave secrets for them to find. Um, Yak says, so if you feel tired, you should go to bed. <laughs> it's far too late for that, Yak. You've already made your choice. You can't go back now. <laughs> exactly. So, um, okay, um... All right, so th those are the broad strokes. Um, we have, oh, we have the star map, but then we also have, 
the like we need the screen that Yak was describing, the one where you know information about the planet gets filled in over time. Maybe like it. Actual Junior says plant map with labels on the planets. Yeah, um, yeah, that's like the star map. Um, okay, so maybe like Yak's planet room, like planet info room, uh, not room, screen. So like, this would be a screen where, um, you know, your info, where like, info about each planet gets filled in the like as you as you uh you know find out more information about it how many screens are we up to right now we're like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve that is enough that is definitely enough Yaxes, yeah, you could also do screens that are specific to the planets and have the information about that planet when you discover it. Yeah, that's true. That is true. I'll, I'll just make that a note. Um, or individual screens. But then, you know, but then... But then I would have to have 20 different screens, though, for that, right? Because, like, there's 20 stars we decided, right? Um, did we decide that? Yeah, 20 stars. Um, yeah. So, like, a screen with pictures of Tertosians and a brief description of Shyrak. That is definitely true. We definitely need, um, the reward screens. Um, like, the, 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 you know, screen to show the aliens once they've discovered the planet. I would make it light on artwork and have more focus on the info about the planets. Yeah, that's a good idea. Like, maybe just have, like... Yeah. Yeah, we could even just have art from... Like, it, we could just reuse art. Like, we could just, like, f you know, grab a picture of a Triptosian from a PCG and just, like, you know, stick it in there and put info next to it and, like, design it, design the page on the, on the computer... Or, or, instead of doing this as screens, I could completely do this in Digistar. Dang, I could, like, oh I could make it so I, like, press a button and, like, the image of, of a Triptosian appears and info appears next to it. I mean, originally you said that you were going to do it on Digistar, so... Oh, I'm definitely doing this PCG on Digistar. Like, I'm going to, like, I mean, I won't draw the art on Digistar or anything, I'll just draw that regular, but then I'll, I'll like, you have Digistar to, um, press buttons to bring up the different screens, which actually I mm -hmm. think is the ideal way to play a PCG. <laughs> that would be, like, the thought of it is so convenient, like, holy bazookas. Like, I've never had a PCG playing experience as convenient as Digistar can allow. I like this holy bazooka phrase. Thank you. And if you want, at the end, you could put all the planets together into one big map, unless you decided on doing it in multiple star systems. Mm. Yeah, that's true. The yeah, axis, yeah, you could totally scrap the entire idea of physical PCG screens. That is true, I could. I could. Could. That'd make it so much easier. Well, I mean, in some sense. I mean, probably not, um, probably not, um, for the screens that are, you know, like, where you're, 
I don't know. Like, like probably not for the, the traditional screens. Probably wouldn't be any easier. <laughs> Hacktrail says, wait, so there isn't a PCG called Poyencio? Uh, wait, wasn't there a PCG called Poyencio on PCG Mondays a while back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, that was uh, Poyencio in space, right, Via? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right. I think, um, I feel satisfied. I feel like we've successfully planned out the rough outline of this, of this game. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool so far. Thank you. Do you have any last minute, uh, takes on this or anything you would like to add or anything? No for now, but um, if anything occurs to me later, I uh, will be happy to tell you. Okay, sounds good. Um, I mean, I my participation today was very minimal, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I thought we were going to be doing more drawing, and we could show that, but... Um, you know, before we end the stream, if you want to send me over pictures of what you drew so far, we could, we could show it on stream. Um, yeah. Yeah, I yes. I mean I'm still working on the step ladder, but I did send you one. Oh, did you? Yeah, it's on on the chat on Facebook. Okay, let's find that. Um... But then people will know my thing. Can you can you do it in like no show my screen? Yep, I was. That was already the plan. Yay! That is really cool. <laughs> I really like the color, and I really like the the sparkliness, and the fact that it has a transparent background is going to make it uh, really mm -hmm. easy to include in Digistar. So I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about that, and I'm like, I think it should be transparent, so that way it's less work for for you, and easier to, like... Yes. Oh, Hatchel it's, it's, it's Hatchel being better. Hatchel Jr. says, what about the fat guy in, like, space armor trying to block the way? Oh, I like that. <laughs> uh, Yak says, great job, Via, looks really cool. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, yeah. I yeah. I wish I could have made it better, but you know, that's that's what it came out with. Fat guy in space armor hack trolls suggestion. That's not how you spell suggestion at all. There we go. Okay, um, I love the sparkles. I know, me too. That is Yay. pretty epic. The uh, the first official art of this PCG. <laughs> the axe is the Ooh. fat guy thing is actually an insane idea. True PCG genius. Yes. <laughs> space armor. What is space armor? I guess I'll have to figure that out. Um... But yeah, I am very tired. Um, I think I think we made a good amount of progress for tonight, so I think I'm going to call it a night. But I'm thinking um, I'll, I'll try and like do an, a follow-up stream to this in the future. Um, you know, via, like, you can definitely be part of that if you like as well. And, um... Of course. Excellent. Thank you. And, um... And yeah, once the PCG is done, I'll definitely show it to you guys in a 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 in a, in a you know video. I'll do like an overview video. But um, yeah, for now, thank you all guys for all helping me with this. Sketchy Wingman says fun stream, cool drawing via. Thank you, dude. Oh awesome. man. Yay. Yay indeed. All right, you guys. Later, alligators. <laughs> yeah, I'm just glad you're able to get a stream done. I know, me too. Yeah, Via, thanks so much for being here. Folks, uh, yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. You folks are the best.
the stream button. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks.